Hello, welcome to this video about how to use Prelude to assemble a series of video clips in a way that can be easily edited in Premiere Pro. So to begin, we're going to start, you can see we've got ingest, logging, list and rough cut. So we're going to begin with ingest, which is going to be putting stuff into our project. Okay, so let's uh, ingest some media. So we're going to double click here and you'll see we'll be able to see the clip here. And we'll be able to move it to the beginning point. We can do maybe an uh, input there, we'll go here, do an output there. But in, instead, what we're going to do is just do check all. Now, we can do transfer clips to the destination. We can also add metadata and rename the clips. But for now, we're just going to be happy with what we've got here. And OK, so now they are essentially ingested. So once you ingest, you want to move on to the logging phase. So this is where we're going to be able to create something called subclips, which are going to be able to be used in a rough cut, which will then be exported into Premiere Pro. So we double click on our first clip here. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to create a subclip. We press one, and you see this menu comes here. So we're going to go for an eight second clip here, 25 to 33 seconds. Uh, so this subclip is three seconds long, three seconds long, three seconds long. Okay, so now that we've got the, the length of the clips that we want, we, then now, we now need to make something called a rough cut. Uh, you'll notice that this green box is open. And that's going to be important because you can see that a lot of these options are grayed out. And this is how we're going to actually add the clips. Let's go to create rough cut. And we're going to, and we're going to, remember, we need to export. So we need to export this for Premiere Pro. So we're going to call it export. So there's our rough cut called export. And you'll notice that this green box is still there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our sub clip there in our first clip. And we're going to go add selected markers. And now you can see this is the rough cut. So program export zero to eight seconds, exactly what we want. So now we're gonna open the second document here, click on our subclip, and we're gonna to go to add selected markers. Now it's 11 seconds long. And finally the last one there. So now we're in our, you can see we're in our rough cut now. And as you might imagine, we have an eight second clip, uh, yielding a total of 25 seconds. So there's a few different things we could do. Say for instance, we didn't like the order of the mushroom fields and the badlands, we could swap them around just by pressing these square arrows. So I just literally press the square arrows. Now you can see they're in the, the opposite locations. So you can do this in the timeline here, but it normally it's better actually to press the actual rough cut button here. That way you can actually see things a bit more clearly. It just opens a bit bigger. It's not really hugely different. So you could also add, for instance, a transition. So we could put one between these two clips, for instance. And you can also change the length of it. And if we wanted to go back, we could go back. We can use the J and K keys here. So we just want to check it a few times, going back and forwards there. J, K, and L. Uh, say we wanted to truncate things a little bit. So we wanted to cut two seconds off the beginning and the end. We could, we could select the clip and then press the Q key. And then if we went to the other end, we go to 21 seconds now, then press the W key. So that will give us a clip which is 21 seconds long. There's additional things we could do from the clip as well, which uh, haven't been relevant, but you could, for instance, do a pen clip to rough cut uh, or insert clips at different points. We also have this uh, marker window as well. Let's you see a few more details about the marker. This is in the list view. However, once you're done with what you want to do, it's pretty simple to go into the export menu and you do send to Premiere Pro. So let's have a look if we haven't even got Premiere Pro open, see exactly what happens. And you can see we actually make we can actually make it directly at the beginning here, which is kind of cool. You can see it's going to automatically populate the project window there. And if we take a look at the list of items here, you can see that we've got our rough cut right here at the bottom. So we can drag that onto stage here. So you can see that we now have our clips. They're all in this, this one track here. And as, as you might imagine, first clip is six seconds, and then we have three second clips. Before the final jungle clip, uh, 15 seconds. So that is how to export into Premiere Pro from Prelude. Thanks for watching.